Hi guys, welcome to Cinema 4D with me, Michael Taney. Today we're going to be having a look at the new Metaballs update in R17. And we're going to try and create something like this, where it's getting abstract shapes and kind of gloopy merging together. But once you open it like this, let's just get our scene set up. So if you just go to your project settings, so you can do Control and D to get to this. And just change the frames. 25 and we'll go up here to your render settings and um, so you can click that one and just go film and video HD TV 1080 25 just kind of get a base set up here and click all frames as well and we'll just turn save off for now and that's kind of the base setup if we just move this to 300 as well just so we've got some kind of frames to play with. There we are, that's the base setup. What we need to do now is get some shapes. So if we go up here and get sphere and we'll just, just dupe that. And then we'll get meta balls, which is well there we are. Meta balls up here. And usually in some 4D you just kind of drop them in and you've got got yourself kind of these merging merging shapes. I'll just turn the display mode with line so you can kind of see what's happening here. So you can get this cool kind of gloopy looking looking shape and you can kind of change your um, the subdivisions as well just to get a bit more detail in there. Stick with about 10. But you can also get the metaball tag. <laughs> just put these on here. And you can start adding other shapes so you can get a cube. Usually you can add other shapes in, in previous versions, so we'll put this in here. You can kind of see what's happening now, but if you get a Cinema 4D Metaball tag, and you go down here in the type, this is kind of a new, new thing what they've got going here, so if you go line, you see what's happening here, it's just it's producing the kind of the line of the geometry and filling that in, or you can go triangle, yep, triangle, and that's when you start to get the full shape. So you can technically uh, merge any shape you want. Um, so we do that. So if you render this, you can see you can still start to, to play individually with the, the radius of each shape. I'm really good to have kind of customizing customizing this. It also has um, accurate normals as well just to get that bit a bit smoother. A bit smoother shapes. You can see what's happening there with the normals. And how I created the video that you saw earlier, I got some platonic shapes here. We'll get rid of the cube. Itself, really. Put the tag on this. And I put line, so kind of got a linear one. It's kind of played with the. With the size. You can probably scale this up as well. There we are, we are. And we'll dupe this by holding control and you can kind of you see the uh, the plus plus there. And this one over here. Maybe scale it up a little bit more like that. If you go down here and click on segments and move this up a bit, you can start to see the difference between the two. All I did to kind of get them moving, so instead of keyframing quite a lot, if you right click here, Cinema 4D tags, and go down to uh, Vibrate, and just enable position and rotation. I'll put the frequency down quite low, but uh, 0 0.2 possibly, and get with the position. And just move all these to 200. Let's copy this. I'll put these to 180 to so it can kind of rotate quite a bit. So if you press play, you'll kind of see it start to move. 
And you can just cube this tag in most of these. So they're all starting to kind of move, maybe change the numbers up in some of them. So 250, frequency 4. Being enable scale as well, so you start to see it scaling there, <clears throat> and again movement with the balls. It doesn't really matter about the rotation on these because it's uh, perfectly round. But you know, put these to 500, so you can start to see movement on them. And you can see them merge together as it gets closer, it's pretty cool. And that's basically it, you can start to add some materials to your Meta Ball, start getting some nice renders out and lighting. There we are guys, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips, tricks and shortcuts. Thanks for watching. Thank you.